Welcome back to Sunday Report. I'm John Glasgow. A lot happening across our border to the north. Canada's wildfire smoke is causing poor air quality and travel troubles across America as well. Plus China and Canada's influence and interference in the U.S. Also, a pride parade in Toronto is causing new controversy as well. So let's bring in Michael Charbon, host of the Charbon Report. Happy belated Canada Day to you. And to you, and uh, Independence Day to all the, the American viewers on Newsmax. Great times. Absolutely. Michael, let's get right to it. Justin Trudeau blames the smoke from Quebec wildfires on climate change, then raises carbon tax for all Canadians in this time of economic struggle. What do you make? Yeah, well, I mean, it's going to cost Canadians an average $1,000 a year because he's decided that climate change is a cause of the fires. And it's not. It's, it's ill preparedness from the Parks Department. It's a cutting of large trees, lightning, drought, and even arson. So these are the real things. Pierre Paul Olivier, the conservative uh, opposition leader, stood up in the House of Commons and said, this is ridiculous. Climate change is not the cause. But uh, Elizabeth Warren also joined in in this, uh, this song and dance about climate change. And what's going to happen is that additional tax hmm. is going to affect uh, Canadians and farmers. Like I said, a thousand bucks at this time, we don't need that kind of a solution. It's, it's just not right. Yeah, and they're still having trouble getting those wildfires under control. Uh, China, 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 not only a U.S. problem with influence interference. What's this about? So if you recall, uh, Pierre Polivier, again, the conservative leader, stood up in the House of Commons and said that there were two Chinese police stations in Canada, reminiscent of what you Americans found out recently, peddling influence. But the one that really irks Canadians is that four years ago, the Trudeau government spent $200 million funding the Asian Infrastructure Bank. And uh, Japan and the United States said it was wrong, they shouldn't do it. And actually, a Canadian whistleblower came through and said it's got nothing to do with infrastructure, it's got everything to do with Chinese dominance. So Pierre Paul Olivier, the Conservative, stood up in the House of Commons and said, what are you going to return the $200 million to Canadian taxpayers, John? And let's move on to this. Toronto Pride Parade was exposed across the country with a familiar beer sponsor, too, as fully nude men walked in the parade. Uh, this is going to be a summer to forget for Bud Light. Yeah, but well, they've already lost 30% because of the uh, Dylan Mulvaney trick in the United States. They've lost market share here, too. But it was embarrassing to a certain extent because you saw 30 men completely nude walking in the Toronto Pride Parade. And later on, they had about 10 or 15 men totally nude riding bicycles. I mean, this is embarrassing, and this went around the world. Canadians do have a solution, John. What's we that? think we want to change Pride Month from June to January. We figure <laughs> that would solve everything. <laughs> yeah, you might you might see uh, them in their parkas, I think, uh, if they're going to be have out. Little hats, just yeah. little hats. Just <laughs> little hats. <laughs> yeah, get them all covered up. All right, yeah. well, that, uh, we'll leave it there. But again, happy Canada Day to you, belated. And uh, we appreciate you always coming on and filling us in on what's going on north of the border. Like our Charbonne, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, John.